what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Faye Lene. Welcome. And if you are not new here, then you guys already know what it is. So thank you so much for coming back for another video. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorites from the month of January. It's been a hot minute since I've done a favorites video outside of my best of 2018. So I wanted to sit down and share with you guys a couple of products that I have really been loving that I may not have necessarily mentioned in my best of 2018 videos at the beginning of the month, which by the way, if you have not watched those, be sure to check those out. I mentioned a lot of really bomb products in those videos, so if you haven't watched them, be sure to get caught up on those. But like I said, in today's video, I want to share with you guys a couple of products that I have been obsessed with and going to constantly all throughout the month of January. And before I get into the video, if you are new, be sure to join the fam by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Also, if you have not already, be sure to turn on your post notifications so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And without further further ado, let's go ahead and get into the favorites. Alright guys, so I have a little bit of everything to share with you guys in today's video. So I'm going to start off, I have um, two hair care products, three skincare products, and then a bunch of makeup products. So I'm going to go ahead and get the hair and skincare products out of the way so that we can go ahead and finish up with the makeup. So the hair care products that I want to share with you guys are actually from the same brand. They are from the brand Dark and Lovely, and this is from their Damage Slayer line. So I did actually get a trim recently. You guys can probably tell my hair was struggling. It was longer, but it just did not look good. The ends were pretty much dead and super thin, and I finally just went to my hairstylist and I was like girl just just cut it off just cut it off but I wanted to share with you guys these two products because ever since I have added them into my wash routine I have noticed that my hair feels a lot stronger feels a lot softer is a lot easier to manage and just feels a lot more healthy so this first one that I have is the step one the rescuer treatment and this is supposed to attack damage from the inside out and also nourish your hair so basically what you do is you just wet your hair before you shampoo and condition you wet your hair you put this in your hair you leave it in for about five minutes or longer I normally leave mine in for anywhere between like 15 to 30 minutes depending on what I'm doing if I'm like cleaning the kitchen or doing other things then I may leave it in longer than 15 minutes but you just leave this in your hair and then you wash it out and then you go ahead in with your regular wash routine so shampoo condition and then I also have this which is a deep conditioner this is the hydrator steam conditioning mask and it's supposed to intensely hydrate and nourish as well as soften your hair. And it does say that it has castor oil in it, which was honestly the main reason why I picked this up. It's just really good for helping to rebuild damage and grow your hair in general. So that's why I picked this up. But this and this, ever since I have been adding them into my routine, I have been loving the way that my hair has been coming out. So next up, I have three skincare products, and the first two are actually from the brand Dermalogica. This one is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse, which I have heard a lot of people say really amazing things about. So whenever I cleanse my skin, I always like to go in with an oil first, just to break down all the makeup and really get in there and cleanse all of that off of my face before I go in with my cleanser. And I was previously using one by Neutrogena that I ran out of. So I decided to pull this one out and try it out and I've really been enjoying this one so far. It's really gentle on the skin but it still does a really great job of removing the makeup and breaking it down. And then after cleansing I have been using the Dermalogica Daily Micro Foliant. This is actually a product that I recently saw Jackie talking about on her Instagram stories and I've had this again in my collection for a hot minute and I just never reached for it. I've just had it in my skincare drawer. It hadn't been opened and then when I saw her using it in her Instagram stories, I was like, "Oh, let me pull mine out and test it out and girl, yet again, Auntie Jackie has yet to steer me wrong on a product. This is bomb. This is actually a powder on the inside. It's not like a cream or like a liquid. It's actually a powder. And you just shake it out into your hand and then you add a little bit of water and it just turns into like a um like a cleanser kind of formula and you just massage it all over your face it's super gentle it is an exfoliator but it's super super gentle on your skin 
and you just kind of massage it all over and then rinse it off and it leaves your skin feeling so soft and so smooth so I've been incorporating this into my nighttime routine I've really been enjoying it and then last but not least for skincare I've been using the pixie glow tonic this was actually sent to me from pixie and PR and I have never had the opportunity to try out their products so when I ran out of my toner recently I decided to bust this out and try it out one of the reasons I actually decided to try this out is because it's supposed to actually be an exfoliating toner that also helps to brighten the skin and that is something that I have been trying to focus on a lot just incorporating products into my skincare routine that will help to brighten my skin lighten my um, hyperpigmentation and just help to smooth and even out my texture so that has been my focus I've been using this as my daytime toner and I've really been enjoying this one as well okay so let's go ahead and get into what you guys are all here for and that is the makeup girl so the very first thing that I want to mention is the Maybelline super stay full coverage foundation this foundation you guys if you have not tried it out I highly recommend that you guys try it out they have a really good shade range and I feel like every time I go to the store or I go online at Ulta, it seems like, I don't know if they always had as many shades as they do now, but it seems like I think they may have added more shades and expanded the range because I went into Ulta the other day and there were so many shades on the display. And even at my local Walmart, there were so many shades on the display. So kudos to you, Maybelline, for expanding your shade range and trying to be in as inclusive as possible. I honestly have like a couple of different shades that could work for my um, skin tone, honestly. But I have found that these two mixed together work the best. I have them on my skin right now. And as you can see, it like pretty much looks exactly like my perfect skin tone match. So I have the shades 332 Golden Caramel and 330 Toffee. I can wear Toffee by itself. It's just a little bit dark um, and just a little bit. It's, it's like neutral golden, if that makes sense. But I can make it work after I apply a concealer and set my face and all of that. But the two of these together are bomb. This one is like super neutral, almost a little bit olive -y, which I do have a little bit of that in my complexion. And then this one, like I said, is more of a neutral golden. So the two of them together give me my perfect match. I'm obsessed with this. It's super full coverage. It wears really nicely on the skin. It looks beautiful on the skin, as you guys can see. My skin just looks flawless, and all of my other products apply beautifully on top of these. So sticking with face products, I have another super affordable product to share with you guys, and this is from the brand Black Radiance. I actually have this in my everyday makeup stash for the month of January, so you guys probably saw it in that video. But this is their loose setting powder in the shade translucent, I think? No, banana. This one is in the shade banana, and you guys, this is super... So, so good. I feel like it can be a little bit difficult to find a really good setting powder at the drugstore, but this one is it. You get a ton of product, as you can see. There's a really nice sifter on the inside so product doesn't get everywhere. And this just looks beautiful on the skin. I did use it to set underneath my eyes today. And of course, as you guys can see, it just looks beautiful under the eyes. It sets my eyes really nicely. It doesn't look dry, it doesn't crack, it doesn't crease. It sets my concealer beautifully. This is just bomb. And I don't remember exactly how much this was, but Black Radiance is super inexpensive. I wouldn't guess that this is any more than like five or six dollars. And you get so much product. So another face product that I wanted to mention is the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This was a powder that I actually thought was going to be discontinued for a minute, but I think they may have just been sold out for a hot minute, but they are fully stocked from what I can see on the Sephora website. So I figured I would go ahead and mention this to you guys. This is a powder that I actually saw both from my friend Andrea as well as from Alyssa Ashley here on YouTube. And they compare this to the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, which I completely agree. This one has a pretty decent range of shades and it's kind of like a slightly tinted um, translucent powder, if that makes sense. So I have mine in the shade tan. So if you are similar to my complexion, then tan would work for you as well. I did set my face with this powder today and I just really, really love this powder. It's super lightweight. It sets the face beautifully and it just 
smooths everything out, brings everything together, just makes everything look really, really nice. So the next product that I wanted to mention to you guys is a bronzer, and this is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It took me a hot minute to try them out just because their shade range has not been amazing. However, they did recently launch some darker shades, which I am so excited about because this is like a cult favorite product. But for a really long time, they did not have shades that could be used by darker skin tones. But they are finally changing that, so I'm super excited. Um, the two shades that I have are Deep Bronzer, which looks like this. And this is the shade that I used to bronze my face today. And then I'm not sure if you guys knew this or not, but they have this shade right here. Look how dark that is. This is in the shade Sculpting Bronzer. And I actually saw this at Walmart this past week and when I saw it, I was like, I did use it to sculpt my cheekbones just a little because this bronzer is actually pretty dark and pretty pigmented so I did not have to use a lot of this shade. So if you are somebody that is darker, if your complexion is darker than mine, this would be a really, really great bronzer for you. And I do know that there are two new shades on the Ulta website as well. I just ordered those today. So for those of you guys that have been asking for me to review those darker shades, they should be here within the next two days. So I will definitely be filming that video for you guys really soon. And I will also include this one in there and this one as a comparison for you guys. But you can see just side by side this sculpting bronzer is pretty dark girl so the next product that i want to share with you guys are blushes and these are from elf if you watch my elf haul you guys know that i picked up a bunch of products from elf recently and these were included in that haul i picked up two shades always rosy and always spicy and i have been loving these i have always spicy on my cheeks today as my blush and these are such beautiful blush shades. They're super smooth and just apply to the skin like butter, literally. But this is always rosy and this is always spicy. So that's what those look like. They're super lightweight on the skin. They're buildable for sure, super pigmented. I just tap my brush into the blush, apply it to my face, and that is literally all that I need. e.l.f. has really been stepping it up, I have to say. The quality of their products just continues to get better and better, and they're still maintaining that affordable price point. So if you are looking for some good blushes, pick these up. So while I'm on affordable drugstore products, I'll go ahead and also mention this one. This product is not a stranger to my channel. I have mentioned it before, and it is another product that has been in my everyday makeup stash. I've actually been falling back in love with a lot of the products I have pulled out of my stash and had in my everyday makeup drawer this month. So that's why I'm saying so many of these are from my everyday makeup stash because they're products that I haven't used in forever, and I've been using them this month and have fallen back in love with them. So this one is the Pixie at Times Dulce Candy. Candy Sweet Glow Palette. I've mentioned this before. I was in love with it when I first purchased it. I kind of stopped using it for a little bit and then I pulled it back out this month and I've fallen back in love with it again. This is such a great palette and I will not stop talking about how great this palette is. If you have not purchased this, if you don't purchase anything else that I talk about in this video, purchase this. It is such a great value and all of the colors in here I feel like would work across a ton of different skin tones. I could literally use every single color in this palette and if there is a palette that isn't a perfect match for me, I can mix them with other shades in this palette to make it work. This palette is so good, it's super pigmented. I actually mixed this shade right here and this shade right here as my highlight today. And as you can see, is popping so yes this is a great palette it has some beautiful highlights this one could be a really great bronzer if you are of a lighter complexion and you like shimmery bronzers you've got some shades you could use as blush shades or blush toppers this is just a great all-around palette and it's so so affordable so definitely pick it up while it's still available because you guys know these collaborations sometimes they're limited edition and they're not always around forever so if you see this in your store pick it up okay so next up I have two pairs of lashes to share with you guys the first are the lashes that I have on right now I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about them because if you are a regular here on my channel you already know what I'm about to say but these are the Ilert times Nicole Guerrero lashes I thought that these were supposed to be limited edition and they may still be limited edition but 
they have been available a lot longer than I expected them to be. So if you see them at your local Walgreens, that's where you can get your hands on them. I will also link them for you down below. I have several backups in my collection because these are bomb. As you can see, they just look beautiful on the eyes. They're not too much. They're a really nice, natural, wispy lash that goes great with natural and dramatic looks. So I absolutely love these. They're affordable, so you guys already know I'm all about that. So I wanted to give these guys a quick mention, even though I've mentioned them so many times on my channel. But a new lash that I have fallen in love with is the Lily Lash in the style Miami. Now, I know that this is a super popular lash from Lily Lashes, and I have just been sleep on these lashes for a hot minute but they are now sold at Sephora, so I decided to go ahead and pick them up, and I am obsessed with them. I don't know why I have been sleep on them for as long as I have, because they are so, so good. I know that she has a couple of different lash styles, like several different lash styles out there, but I know the Miami style is a super popular one. So when I saw that they were available on Sephora, I decided to go ahead and pick them up, and I like them so much that I ended up picking up another pair just to have a backup, but if you are into more luxury, um, I think these are mink lashes. Yeah, 3D mink lashes if you're into that. Then I would definitely recommend checking these out at Sephora. All right, so I just have two more products to share with you guys and then we will be finished. So the very first one is a primer and this is expensive, y'all. I'm just gonna go ahead and say I've shared a lot of affordable products with y'all in this video. This one is not one of them. This is the Farsali Skin Tune Blur Primer or Serum, I think it is. Yeah, Perfecting Primer Serum. This is not cheap, but it is so good. And I know that there are a lot of Farsali products that people use on a regular basis, like her oils and other serums. I had not purchased any products from Farsali until this came out because this one is specifically for blurring and smoothing, which you guys know I'm all about. And the texture of this one is also a little bit different. It's not an oil. As you can see, it's like an actual serum or like a primer, but it just rubs into the skin really nicely. It feels really good. It smells really good. It's not too overpowering and it just kind of mattifies and smooths the skin. I have been obsessed with this. I've been trying my hardest not to use it every single day because it was like $56, which I know is like, what? <laughs> but I did get this during the Sephora VIB sale, so I got a little bit of a discount off, a little couple, save a couple coins, okay? A couple coins. But I have been trying not to use this every day because it is just that good, but ain't nobody got $56 to be spend in every couple weeks to restock on this. But I would definitely recommend this if you have been thinking about maybe saving your coins and testing out one of these products, or even go into Sephora and get a sample and try it out and see if you like it, if it works for your skin. But it has been working wonders for mine. Okay, and then last but not least, I figured I would round it out with another affordable product. I have the CoverGirl Look Lock Up All Day Setting Mist. This makeup setting spray I have been obsessed with. I think this is probably my favorite affordable setting spray that I have found at the drugstore so far. I do have oily skin, so if you guys have any suggestions of other ones you think I should try, definitely leave those for me in the comments. But besides the Morphe setting mist, I do love that one. This one has been my absolute favorite. This setting mist reminds me a lot of like the Urban Decay All Nighter and like other long wear um, high-end setting sprays, that's what this reminds me of. It is so, so good. I like to use this in conjunction with my Morphe setting spray. I'll spray the Morphe one all over just to like set and settle everything together. And then I'll spray this right on top to really lock it in and make sure that it lasts all day long, okay? All day long. So yes, new setting spray alert, girl. Super affordable. This one is the first that I have found that I can actually tell you guys is comparable to high-end setting sprays and that I would actually recommend in place of some of those more expensive sprays. And yeah, that is all that I have to share with you guys for today's video. Those are all of the products that I have been loving for the month of January. I was gonna mention a couple of products that I 
didn't necessarily love but I didn't want to make this video too too long so let me know down below in the comments if that is something that you would like me to include in future favorites videos products that I didn't really love so much I can start to include that in future videos but yeah that is all that I have for you guys be sure to let me know down below in the comments what your favorites were for the month of January you guys know I always love hearing the products that you have been loving so that I can kind of see if there's anything I need to pick up and try out if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not already, be sure to subscribe, join the fam, turn on your post notifications. And yeah, that is all that I have for you. So thank you so much again for watching. And I'll see you very soon in my next one.